This is the best build for Jinsi in Wuthering Waves. Jinsi Best Echo set is Celestial Light with the main Echo is Jew. Morning Axe is good, but Jew is giving more damage, so Jew is more priority. This is Jinsi Echo stats priority. And this is the best weapon for Jinsi. This is for Jinsi priority for it to upgrade. And now for the best team compositions for Jinsi. Jinsi as the main DPS. And for the sub DPS, you need character that can coordinate it attack, such as Yinlen, Mortafi, and Yuanwu. For the healer character, you can use Farina or Baizi. Now the rotation for Jinsi to get insane damage. First is basic four times. Then use the skill after it turn yellow. This skill will turn Jinsi into flying mode. When in the flying mode, use basic, skill and echo to attack. Then Jinsi skill will turn yellow again. Use that skill attack. After releasing that skill, you can do the outro even though the concerto isn't full yet. This is because of the effect of Jinsi's skill. Use the outro to switch to Varina. With Varina, attack the enemy until you can do the outro. Don't forget to use Varina Echo and her liberation. Then use the outro to switch to more Tuffy. Just like before, attack the enemy until you can do the outro. Don't forget to use more Tuffy Echo and his liberation. Then use the outro to switch to Jinsi. After Jinsi intro, you notice your skill already turned yellow. Use that skill to turn Jinsi into flying mode. By the way, if the bar below is full, the damage dealt by Jinsi skill will increase significantly. To fill this bar, you need characters that can perform coordinated attacks. That's why Yinlin, Mortefi, and Yuanwu are great for Jinsi. When in this flying mode, use Liberation, Basic, Skill, and Echo to attack. Finally, finish him. Yes, Terry. 